What's up guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be working on the Project S13 aka Krusty Coop. Cooper. We are giving it some much needed love and getting some critical issues solved before we throw a welded diff in this car and start sliding it. I went to pull the car out to admittedly work on a the GS300 and it didn't want to start so I think I got a bad battery. It's crusty and one of the corners is that you're starting to get some corrosion from where it's touching in the radiator support. You can see the wiring here is also a mess and needs to get addressed to make headlights pop down and other things but ultimately first and foremost is this giant hole where the battery tray used to sit. So we need to strip it, get it down to bare metal, weld in some new metal, prime it, paint it, get it cleaned up so a new battery tray can sit in there, not corrode, with a new battery. And we're gonna go ahead and get Cooper ready to slide. So I hope you guys enjoy the beginning of the True Project Car Cooper and getting this crusty thing underway. So stay tuned for the ride. As you can see, got the headlight off. And behind it, there's some rusty nastiness here and back here. So we're gonna clean all that up. Clean up all in here. I did get to delooming the main harness and you can see while I was tracing it, it looks like they did just extend. They must have just cut it for some stupid reason, but I think this is a typical case of, I know somebody that can do it cheaper. It's every one of these has copper exposed and just doing a brief check I can already find I've already found a few wires that are close but they're not the same so whoever did the extension kind of fucked some of the stuff up which is I guess to be expected so I think what I would like to do is get rid of the butt connectors solder everything to a better length and tighten up the bundle and hopefully that will also rid a lot of the issues that I have and I'll know that section of the harness is good. Saved me like $300, $400 on the new harness. And then the wiring aspect should be pretty well taken care of. So I have gotten some of the wires connected and by some I mean like five. <laughs> Um, basically all the little wires for the headlight harness. I've gotten soldered and heat shrinked and extended to like be the same length as the factory harness. I'm trying to route them nice, whatever. So now I get to go through the rest of all of this bullshit. Finally to the very last wire. The camera died during the time lapse yesterday. I resumed uh, late afternoon today and kind of kept at it, but it's taken many hours, about 10 minutes per wire, and there's about 40 wires. Solder buddy came in clutch, twist the wires together, fucking solder them. Heat shrink it. Uh, all the wires are matched up perfectly. Uh, only uh, extended about an inch to three to four inches depending on the wire and the location but yeah all of it just needed very slight extensions dude had you know way huge pieces of strips and so that created a large bit of the chaos and the bundling down there but now it's all cleaned up looks much better i got some sheathing to put over that too and just kind of tidy it up okay 
little preview of what it should look like. Got it cleaned up. Back to making progress on the S13 coupe. I went in under the dash, pulled these two little plugs so this grommet would come out. They just plugged into some module behind the ECU. Um, no biggie there. That allowed me to pull this harness kind of up and out of the way now. So this whole area is clear. I also went ahead and made a rough template on how this needs to go in there. It's basically gonna go a little something like that. So now I'm gonna cut out basically the rusty stuff that I can't keep. Got the template transferred over to the piece of metal, cut it out, cut my hole with a hole saw for the washer fluid reservoir. Started to kind of curve the ends to match the concave of the factory tub. But basically, this is what it's gonna be like. We've got actually a little bit more of it cut out, cleaned up some of the extra like oxidized spots. So I started drilling out some of the spot welds up in here and then this shit was just so like pinholes and you can't just decide to cut it out. But now should be about ready to come out. Got the little piece of metal out and it's like sanding all on the frame rail and up in here. Tried to like sand off all the, the visible rust. It's not too deep here. And the wire wheel and shit. Got some primer that's supposed to be for clean or bare painted or lightly rusted metals to help protect against the rust. Leave it up to me to do all the work, not film most of it. Well, pretty much all of it. So ignore the booger welds, but you got a piece of metal in there. Oh, bug zapped in all booger-like. Just did spot welds for the most part everywhere. Up top, I tried to kind of spot weld it everywhere, and it just I blew holes a lot on this side. I don't know, it, it's not great, but it'll do. Shit sealed off. All the cancerous stress is gone. Should hold up. I ground up my welds a little bit. Um, I actually test fit the battery as well. And I marked it with a Sharpie. You can see not a lot of space around where the battery sits. Um, I actually wanted to install a battery box just to contain any of the acid that may breathe out of the battery over time with these lead acid batteries is a thing. That's actually what corroded the tray to begin with. Um, since there's not enough space up front to go ahead and run a battery tray, I'm going to actually go ahead and relocate it into the trunk so I can run the, the battery uh, tray and prevent future rusting and oxidation. So I made a, I'm making a tray to hold my battery box. Basically, this is what's gonna be bolted to the chassis. I'm gonna run some all thread up and that'll actually help secure the battery down inside of the box without having to drill holes into the box, thus allowing any of that acid to escape again. So yeah, just got some flat stock, cut it up to the correct dimensions to fit that. It's a nice tight fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack everything up now. And then um, once I get a nice day, I'm gonna finish painting up that and then that'll be complete. I can start putting that back together. Yeah, let's get this tray made, get the battery relocated. It's snowballing, I knew it would. Got my battery tray um, welded up. I'll say I'm not a great welder, but I'm a good grinder. Um, but yeah, it's in here. Decided to use an existing factory bolt that was doing nothing 
and then I mocked it up and just saw how close it was to this, which I was actually missing a screw. So I just got an extra little bit and welded this little tab on to make it connect to there. So I got one bolt, two bolt, and this bastard is pretty tight. I ended up getting this Stinger distribution block. It's Harmony Audio, 150 amp circuit breaker, and about 20 feet of zero gauge audio wire. I chose audio wire just because it's flexible. A lot of people do welding wire. It all works, just thick, thick copper. So decided to use a junction block, like a power distribution block here, and just route like kind of the, the factory starter wire and all that into here. So the wiring kind of, I don't have to extend the factory stuff, just routed it to this junction block near the factory location. So everything fits, everything's reversible. Uh, ran a wire down this little guy, popped it up out of here. There's actually a hole right above where this factory grommet location is. There's a little hole right here. It's the perfect size. It was the exact same diameter as the wire, more or less. It was a little tight to pull, but once we got it through, it sealed, seems like it should seal nice. And then routed it down through here under the carpet, under the seat bracket rail, and then under here under the seat belt, up through here and up into a little hole up yonder, right here. Have that routed up here. Gave myself enough slack to now mount this to circuit breaker. So fast forward a couple weeks, it's warm, it's uh, taped off, or masked off I guess. We're gonna paint just the raw metal, just get it done, good for now. Paint it red, make it okay, put it all back together and let's get to, get to driving this fucking thing, so. <laughs> So it's been uh, a few days since we painted, and uh, it's all dried up now. I can touch it. I kind of just got the headlight put in there just for looking at it. But um, yeah, came out okay. Not too bad. Definitely a different color red, and you know I could I could feather some stuff here, but whatever. Um, you know you get back far enough, you don't really even yeah whatever. It is what it is. So. Now we can kind of start putting everything back together. We got our battery tray painted, so I guess we'll go ahead and start by getting that thrown in the car and then work our way forward. Okay, this is it. You got a little circuit breaker up here, a little bit of wires in here, a couple bolts, and this thing is freaking... Shake the whole damn car with the battery box. So, I'd say we're pretty solid. been a while. I guess it's time for the moment of truth. Wish me luck. So far so good. Let's see. Does Cooper want to fire it up? Such a good fucking car. First time she's fired up in like well over a month. Fires right up, running like a dream, no weird noises, fucking cage, bro. I 
ahead, check the voltage. We're putting out like 14 volts. So alternator is charging well. We did have a little weird issue with the uh, wipers turning on and off on their own. I think it might just be the switch. So we have more electrical gremlins pop-ups. Still don't pop down. I think it might be the headlight motor controller. So we'll, uh, you know, continue delving into the electrical issues with the car in another video. But for now, what started as a dead battery turned into battery tray repair and relocation. Uh, we can finally wrap up this chapter, close it out, and move on to maybe something a little fun with Cooper. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like down below if you did. Go ahead and, you know, comment what you had for breakfast, and, you know, subscribe if you like puppies or kittens. So, don't forget to play in traffic. <laughs>